Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from now to the end of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides in money and career only, thank you. Now to the end of January 2021, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> I've got manifestation. So manifestation is having a focused intent on an idea or changing something from negative to positive. That will allow you to make your hopes, dreams a reality. The beginnings of it happening. It's very magician energy. It's where the universe is blessing you, guiding you, your hard work, the action that you're taking to make something happen now in your life. And it's something positive, the beginnings of something new. You're being given some kind of blessing from the universe as well. It feels absolutely beautiful. But this is somebody having full belief in their own ability, talent, talent, experience, knowledge, foresight that they can turn something around, that they can manifest what they set their intention on now. So it feels very beautiful here, Pisces. A lot of promise there, a lot of promise. Okay, so I'm gonna pull three cards. The first card is you, your issue or challenge in money and career, now to the end of January. Second card is the advice from spirit third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody Pisces so just take what resonates with you okay what do we have for Pisces please in money and career only okay so I've got the ten of pentacles in your challenge position the star card of Aquarius always beautiful is the advice from spirit and the Seven of Swords is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Pisces, please. The message for Pisces, thank you. In money and career only, can we clarify the cards on the table? Now to the end of January 2021. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you, that flew out. Hmm, Wheel of Fortune reversed. The star, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Pisces. The magician is with the star. That is absolutely beautiful. Seven of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. King of Wands is bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness, Pisces. So, okay, your challenge position. So the Ten of Coins is wanting for nothing in terms of money, career, financial security. It is a card of financial security, financial wealth, having and maintaining a level of um, security, wanting for nothing, having enough money for you, your family, your home, your property. It represents long-term success. Um, and the hard work, it's a result of all the hard work that you, know, you put in, it could be to provide for you, your family, your home, material success. The Wheel of Fortune And it's come out reversed. I mean, obviously, the Wheel of Fortune upright. It can talk about good luck, e expansion, prosperity, growth. Um, but, you know, when it's reversed, it can be where you've had a run of bad luck. You've had a run of bad luck in terms of money, career, finances. 
but <laughs> and I love the energy you're being told by the universe now that there is hope have faith because there is real hope optimism um, whatever steps that you've been taking whatever you're focusing on right now you are on the right path you are aligning to exactly where you need to be and this is finding the vision the foresight the the plan um, the path forward for this sense of renewal hope reconnecting to your truth standing in your truth and understanding that you have enough of everything now to manifest a new path for yourself because there is absolute hope it feels like there's there's an energy of, of finding your purpose finding what you're made of finding you know the skill set within you the talent the experience to transfer to sorry to change from something that is was negative to positive an idea to reality base metal to gold so that's what the magician does he is somebody who is an action energy somebody who fully believes in their own capability to create the reality that they want You know, it is an energy of I can, so I will. And that's what you're being told. There is hope here. Whatever you are focusing on now, you're on the right path. So focus upon it with unwavering intent because you have the power, the magic, the ability to bring change to your situation. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, Pisces, you know, for whatever, if it resonates with you, there's a lot of technology energy between those two cards as well. So some of you might be using something in technology or technology fields, call it what you will. It's not limited to that, obviously. But we have the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords can be, it can sometimes be a kind of self-sabotage, how we hold ourselves back from focusing on what we need to focus on now. You know, we, we look in the wrong direction. It can be that kind of energy. Um, can be a card of self-sabotage. It can also be, if you've had a run of bad luck in terms of money, career, finances, it might well be for some of you, I mean, that's if you're still currently employed, it might well be that you're looking to manifest some kind of new opportunity because you're feeling some kind of a run of bad luck or things maybe not going in your favour the way that you hoped they would um, in terms of money career. It could be to do with a promotion. It could be to do with a goal, goal or something that you really wanted here as well. That might well have been that energy as well, Pisces. Something didn't go your way. So it feels like Spirit is saying, but there is some kind of new path to unfold now. There's real hope, optimism, an energy of what you're focusing on. You will be on the right path here. And this can also be a card of, of um, putting a, a plan into action covertly, keeping your cards close to your chest. So it feels, it feels like a powerful energy. The King of Wands, as an energy, if this is you, Pisces, this is somebody who is taking the lead in their life. They're a go, it's a go-getting energy. Somebody who is absolutely in their power, who takes action, goes for what they want. They're the opportunist. Um, they take the lead, you know. So it can be that kind of energy. Now is the time to take the lead. But this can also be somebody in business who is bringing in this Ace of Cups. So for some of you, this King of Wands could be a very magnetic leader, a very active, energetic, charismatic leader, male or female, who is extremely powerful, um, extremely influential, very, very successful as well. They understand how to bring growth and success into their life by the actions that they take. 
And again, with this Ace of Cups, it feels like they're offering you, could be an opportunity that brings you joy. Um, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning energy. It's where you're being shown love by the universe. You are the chalice receiving the love from the universe here. But there's definitely an energy with the Ace of Cups of, it might well be for some of you, there's some kind of offer, opportunity, something that you really want, something that is bringing you joy, that is opening a new door for you. It feels very beautiful indeed. So definitely a sense of the new coming your way. And again, I'm getting that with manifestation. What you're manifesting now, it feels for some of you, is about to open a door. You know, you're about to step through to a new phase of your life. Could be with some kind of leader, like I said, um, that's offering you some kind of opportunity. <coughs> it's either after a run of bad luck here, Pisces, or where something hasn't gone in your favour. Some kind of goal that you'd hoped for didn't work out. You know, it didn't go in your favour for whatever reason. And this is the, 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 the time to manifest. And it's almost like a new path for yourself. Because for some of you, the cup of joy is being offered, you know, and this is, it can be creative opportunities, sometimes links with creative industries as well. I mean, I've picked up on technology there as well. So for some of you, there could be something bringing you joy, maybe to do with some kind of technology, it could be communication industries, that type of thing. Um, but it definitely feels very beautiful indeed. What you're manifesting, it feels like... Um, there is something fulfilling, uplifting, a new beginning that's coming your way. Love the energy. Okay, so final message for Pisces, please, in money and career. Final message for Pisces in money and career. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we have antelope, new pathways, you know, we have consider whether you are happy on your current path, because if you're not, spirit is saying it's time to manifest a new one. And we have honeybee, divine feminine, you are being called on to rise, yeah, rise and shine in your own light. And I definitely get this energy of, you know, this is emotional rebirth but it's happiness the ace of cups is a happy energy something that is bringing you real happiness joy um the beginnings of real fulfillment is coming your way so i love the energy here pisces for that reason i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you pisces and i will see you next time thank you